Card Sort is an interactive exercise that can be done in pairs, small groups, or individually. It is designed for use from preschool through 12th grade. It's quick and should take 10 to 20 minutes. It can be used in a variety of ways for a variety of purposes. Some card sorts can be used to identify terms and concepts, to recall a timeline, to divide and classify information, or to otherwise organize knowledge. Card sorting can be used initially in a lesson to introduce new information, or at the end of a lesson as a review of concepts. Before you use this flexible strategy, you'll need to prepare your cards in advance. You can use words and pictures to group concepts into categories. Our exercise uses different kinds of angles and introduces the concepts of defining as well as finding angles in real life. Using debate strategies, students work together to sort the cards into categories. First, have participants break into small groups or pairs. In our example lesson, students have just completed a lesson on the four types of angles. We want them to sort their cards into four categories. Give students category headers to begin their sort. Each group is given about 20 cards. Some cards have angles. Some cards have definitions. Some cards show real-world examples of the different angle types. The card sort enables students to work on principles of recognition, definition, and classification. As students work through the classification, suggest they arrange cards into rows or columns for each category. Groups discuss why they believe certain cards go into certain categories. With card sort, students can learn both principles and vocabulary. The card sort makes it possible for students to see geometric shapes in real life images. Remind the group they need to come to agreement on each card before sorting the next. Once all the cards are sorted, the groups explain their choices to the class. A process-oriented strategy that is useful to students and teachers in all subjects. It's card sort.